What is going on guys? Yummy R6 here. Uh, this is, I'm doing a short moto vlog today. Uh, it, it's, I wouldn't say necessarily short. I didn't plan on doing a moto vlog till Tuesday. If you guys had read the, my, my thing, my YouTube channel. Um, simply because I don't have a very good back tire. Uh, it should be good enough to get me where I'm going today. But I wasn't even going to ride today. I was just going to go home um, from my from work, which I just got off 30 minutes ago, about 4:30. And I was just going to go home and play Xbox and do nothing. That was my my Saturday plan, my Saturday Memorial Weekend plan. I have lots of plans, I know. Um, <laughs> However, a um, really good friend of mine stopped by at my work and wanted to know if I wanted to go to the Strawberry Festival. I haven't been to the Strawberry Festival in probably, shoot, since I was like 10 years old, a long time ago. Or I wouldn't say a long time ago, about 10 years ago. Alright, so I was thinking of a topic uh, yesterday. I was trying to think of topics to go for um, my Tuesday motor vlog, but not my motor vlog now. And I thought of the transition from a sport bike to a Harley. I am personally not a fan of Harleys, simply because I like to go fast and I like speed and I like the, the, the way you sit on a sport bike. I think you have more control. However, there are people that ride Harleys, like my father, that love them to death and hate sport bikes. It's kind of like, like a mutual thing. I don't hate Harley riders, per se, but I, I just don't like Harleys. So, I mean, I, I'm not like a douche to Harley riders. I mean, because you're a motorcycle rider, it's cool, you know, you're, you're part of the group. However, has, there, has anyone ever experienced the transition from a sport bike to a Harley? I just don't think I would be able to do it. I mean, it would take some time. It's almost like you're learning to, to ride a whole nother vehicle. Because I've sat on my dad's Harley, and, he, and I mean, he doesn't have a huge Harley, but he has the, the soft tail. And I can never imagine myself moving that thing, simply because it's like a thousand pounds more than my bike I have now. I just, I don't, I don't see it happening. <laughs> so when I'm old, I probably will be still be riding sport bikes. Alright, another thing is, I want to get uh, the topics on every video. Try, trying to uh, make it like a topic oriented vlogs more than me telling you about my de uh, my deprived life so at any time on the comments and or in private messages send me a message leave a comment of what you think the next topic should be in the video topic or topics either or but let me know and I will work it out um, I try to respond to everybody um, obviously I don't have a lot of subs right now when I left, I had about 40. Um, I'm working up there. I really appreciate you guys' uh, help and everyone has been very nice. And I like that. I'm very grateful. Um, however, I do get messages and I do try to reply to them as much as I can. Uh, I usually reply around nighttime, uh, Eastern time. So usually around 10, 11 o'clock at night or a little early that's when you should see a reply from me if you send me a question or if you send me a comment or anything like that. What is going on guys? What's going on YouTube? Um, I'm using my mic from the GoPro so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, and this is the second half of my motor vlog that I'm uploading today, uh, and I've got a lot of requests to review my bike, so I'm going to go ahead and review it. Um, I am using the GoPro, so if I screw up some angles that time, I apologize, but uh, here we go. Alright, so basically, it's a 07. Uh, it's an 07 um, Yamaha R6. Uh, it's the stock colors on it. It does not have any of the emblems on it other than the Yamaha down there that's the only thing it has on it, it was stripped, stripped of the emblems when I bought it um, it's got the smoked windscreen um, which I really enjoy um, looks a lot better than the clear in my opinion also it's got the shorty levers um, for the uh, for the clutch and it's also got the shorty levers for the brake uh, on top of that uh, it has the frame cut sliders 
And these are the cut ones, so um, I was told the cut ones are better quality than the slide ones. They're like little things that you can just stick up in the up there. Uh, you can see in, right there, you can see it's cut. I'm sure it cuts right, right there. I like these, they're nice and firm, you know. I, I enjoy them. Um, yes, I know I need to get my bike inspected. Uh, <laughs> it's got the black the black passenger uh, pegs, which I enjoy a lot because it goes with the scheme. On uh, my old Jixer, it, it was silver and it just stood out like a sore thumb. Also, another upgrade on the bike is the peg uh, assembly. Yeah, it's called the peg assembly. Peg assembly uh, it has a carbon carbon fire ankle guard, and this is all blacked out. I was told this is aftermarket. Don't uh, quote me if I'm wrong. And to match it on the other side, we also have this one. Same ankle guard, same setup. All right, for the exhaust, it is the Vance and Heinz um, full exhaust system. It runs all the way through. You can see the um, this on the slip-on. It's pretty familiar to a lot of things. Uh, if you look down there, I don't think you guys can see that. There's not a lot of light down there. The muffler box was taken out, and there's a Y pipe on there. I know a lot of people know about that. And it's a full exhaust that runs all the way into the engine, motor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Oh, we have the stomp grip. I think it's stomp grip. I don't even know what that is. I just know it's some type of grip pad that sits on the side. Truthfully, guys. Oh, also, forgot to mention on the fairings. We got the integrated um, blinkers. They are smoked as well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to pass inspection or not. But we would guess we'll find out. If you guys know anything about it, feel free to shoot me a message. Anything like that. Last but not least, we have the integrated tail light, which is also smoked. Not to the extreme, but... It's smoked just enough to tell it's smoked. And what I was talking about in my other uh, videos is my tire, or my other video is my tire. Uh, earlier in the video, I talked about the tire, and I don't know if you guys can see that. And then see all that right there? Yeah, that's that, uh, the wire, the thread coming out of the tire. Yeah, that's uh, not good. I have another tire coming in on Tuesday. Today is Sunday night, so... I will be able to make moto vlogs pretty soon, relatively. Uh, other than that, guys, that's really my bike. I love it to death. The um, only thing I want to do is put HIDs in the sucker because it does not have HIDs. I know a lot of people are against HIDs um, in the halogen casings, but I have them in my car and they're not bad. I don't, I don't have them where they blind people either. And there's kind of a far view of my bike there. Love the bike to death. And yeah, I'm sure you've noticed by far, by, um, by far th through the video, that is my dad's Harley. Um, loves it as much as I love the R6. He's done a whole bunch of stuff to it. But like I said, I am not a Harley rider. I would not even dare trying to take that thing for a ride, simply because it's a beast. Alright, I guess we can move on to my helmet and stuff. My helmet is the Icon Alliance Skull... Bringer, Skull, Binger, Skull, something, Skull, I don't know. Uh, I love this helmet. My fiance got it for me for um, for Christmas this past year. It's actually pretty new because of the wreck I got into. It's got the chrome windscreen, windscreen visor. That's where the GoPro sits where you guys see it from. And that's my mic cord. Runs into my helmet and sits right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I know questions are going to come up and ask, does that block my view? It does not block my view whatsoever. Um, it's it's a little too close to my face. So that's that's a good thing because um, the I see over it. I don't look into it. So that does not bother me. And since it's here, I guess you got to show you this. This is my fiance's helmet. It's the Scorpion, the Lily helmet, and it's got a pink visor on it. She likes it, so... No complaints to me. Oh, also, the gloves I have are the Scorpion Evo Claw Gloves. I like them. I mean, I don't got anything against them. They're just gloves. They have the protective things on the top. Can't ask for anything more. Oh, also, it's got the aftermarket grips. They're not all that amazing, but they're there. But, yeah, guys, that's my bike. Um, you guys got any questions how stuff was put on or 
any questions about my bike or anything like that feel free to shoot me a message leave a comment I try to comment on every I try to reply to everyone's comment but like I said it's short on time because I do have a life and I do have a job and all that you know good fun stuff about life so yeah guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, the next video will probably be up Wednesday time frame I'm saying simply because I'm not gonna be able to ride for a little bit now until I get her fixed with the tire alrighty alright guys take it easy and have a good one